In this video I want to demonstrate the effects of decoupling and the necessity of decoupling the uh, separate audio stages in an audio amplifier. An audio amplifier often consists of preamps, here for instance, or here, and the power stage, that's here. Sometimes a tuner is um, added to the whole unit. And the bad way to do the wiring from the power supply to all these separate units is shown here. The plus wire goes here directly to the power amplifier. It's hooked up uh, also directly to this preamplifier and to this uh, preamplifier. But this uh, type of wiring can give um, big problems. And especially oscillations and motor boating sounds. Often it is no problem to make an audio amplifier. It's very easy today with a chip. But the problems come when the whole uh, unit must be wired to the power supply and also all the earth connections uh, have to be made. They have also, um, they must be made properly, the earth connection, but that's what this video is not about. Um, here is a demonstration circuit to show uh, what happens when we um, add a disturbing uh, signal to the power supply wire. I took a small transformer here and on this side is a sawtooth generator and by this way I can induce a sawtooth in the power supply wire. But here is also a decoupling unit and that is um, made with this resistor and an electrolytic capacitor. And now we're going to sh show, we're going to see uh, what happens when we add our, our oscilloscope here at this location and when we watch the power supply uh, wire at this location. Now the um, oscilloscope is connected before the uh, resistor, the potentiometer. And this is what we see, and this is what we hear. This is the disturbing signal that's induced in the power supply line. And now we're going to look how the signal uh, looks parallel to the electrolytic capacitor. So I move the oscilloscope probe now to that location. Never made a problem. So, and here you can see that the dis disturbing signal is totally gone. And that means that um, the voltage parallel to that capacitor here, here is uh, totally free of noise uh, generated by the sawtooth generator. And this is what decoupling means. All disturbing signals coming from the power supply uh, are damped in this circuit, in this filter unit. And you can give each individual uh, stage in your audio amplifier an individual voltage and current source. This is especially um, necessary uh, when you use preamps in the audio amplifier. So all these units here must get in fact an individual decoupled voltage source and to the power supply, uh, to the power uh, part of the amplifier, the power amplifier, no decoupling is necessary in general. Sometimes it's also necessary to decouple the power supply to the power amplifier, but uh, that's another question. So when you want to keep your um, audio circuit clean, 
free of noise, free of hum, this is the way to do. So. Now connect it again. And also on other frequencies, there is an extreme damping from uh, can demonstrate it. This is a low frequency. But also with such a low frequency, this disturbing signal is totally gone parallel to the uh, electrolyte capacitor. It's not totally gone, I see now, but it's very much damped. So when you want to damp it further, we can see here that there's still some signal, disturbing signal left. The oscilloscope is now at its maximum uh, sensitivity. When you want to damp it, the disturbing frequencies more, you can use here a bigger capacitor. It's now 15 microfarad, but you can use 100 microfarad, and the damping will be uh, stronger.